Okay, so today I have a really fun video because I have kind of a little bit of an announcement and you can kind of tell from the title of this video already, but I am going to be moving to New York for about a month. Um, so let's talk about it. As you guys know, I started medical school in the fall and I wanted this year to really be a year where I could go travel and kind of do all the things that I feel like I'm going to, you know, in like the darkest of times in medical school, feel like I'm missing out on. And obviously with the pandemic, things like traveling and all of that stuff have been pretty much like off the table. It isn't something that I've been able to do or even think about or plan about. Um, and that's really sucked. Like it's made me really, really sad, um, especially because I love traveling. That was one of the things that actually <laughs> was like why I pushed off going to medical school for a while. It's really sad to me that I can't really do that the months before medical school starts. So the biggest thing is I hate going to places just for like a day or two or even like for a week. I feel like to really get a sense of the place, to really feel like you're a part of the culture, part of the people, um, and get a true sense of the place, uh, you have to spend longer than a, a pure, you know, like a week or even a few days. So my ideal has been to go to a place for like a month. And that's kind of what I wanted to do this year. I wanted to maybe pick like an Italian countryside <laughs> or just like a European city and spend like a month there. And as much as I've wanted to do that, I really haven't been able to plan for that. And so the next best thing was to do something equivalent, but within the US. And I picked New York because I love New York. I've been there so many times. For those of you who don't know, I live in Washington, DC. I've definitely taken a lot of trips to New York. I know the city and like surrounding boroughs really well for the most part, um, but I haven't lived there for longer than like a few days or a weekend. So this is going to be my first time being in New York for such a long time. And I booked an Airbnb and I'm going to be in Brooklyn. I'm not gonna tell you kind of exactly where in Brooklyn because I want it to be a little bit private, but it is going to be in Brooklyn. I didn't want to find anything in the city because we are still in a pandemic and I just felt like the spaces might be too cramped together. I won't really have as much space to move around, to live. Not that the place that I have right now is like a mansion or anything, but it's it has more space than some of the things that I saw in the city. Um, I'm thrilled. I have, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while and it just... It was one of those things where I was like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure, will I find the right place? Everything kind of ended up aligning and I found a place and it was something that I liked. Uh, the timing worked out really well. I do have a lot of friends in New York, so that's going to be really nice too, to be able to see a kind of a new group of people. And then the other thing is that I am vaccinated. So I would not have planned this trip if I wasn't vaccinated, if I didn't feel safe for. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are thrilled as well and uh, just, stick around for a whole bunch of New York content coming at you. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a like, make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Talk to me nice.